Hi everyone, it's Tish with Naptime Creations. Welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel. And if you're new, don't forget to subscribe. It's free and it'll help me out a lot. So hit that subscribe button. Today we're going to be doing an acrylic pour and today's video is actually really exciting because it is a collaboration with Amber K Modern Art. I will link her channel down below. Definitely go check her out. We um, had been chatting and decided to do a collaboration and we left the technique up to the artist but the one thing that we you know said that we both have to do is use this particular type of paint. These are the Artist Loft pre-mixed ready to pour paints from Michaels. They're so easy to use. All you have to do is shake the bottle and they're ready to pour. So let's jump in and get started. I'm going to be using two cups today. In this first cup, um, I layered my cup with white, bright blue, a little bit of gold, a little bit more white, bright blue, and then a little bit more white. And these are 8 ounce cups. I'm going to be using two 8 ounce cups, um, so 16 ounces of paint total for my 12 by 24 canvas. And in this second cup, I kind of wanted to do the opposite, so I started out with blue and just layered my cup blue, white, blue, white, blue, and um, at the end, I'm gonna add a little bit of gold. I didn't wanna add too much gold to this painting. I wanted it to mostly be blue and white. And like I said, these paints are pre-mixed and ready to pour. You don't have to do any mixing. You do have to shake the bottle up. So what I like to do is shake the bottle about two hours before I pour. And um, that way, you know, you introduce bubbles when you shake the bottles up. It has a little bit of a chance to degas before you pour. So I just started in the bottom left corner of my canvas and I'm pouring both of my cups at a slow even pace up to the top right corner of my canvas. And you want, or what I like to do is kind of hold my cups close to the canvas. You get some thicker blocks or um, kind of lines. You get thicker lines when you do that. If you hold your cups really high up above your canvas, you'll get more uh, thinner lines in your painting. So it's up to you how you want your piece to look. I did have a tiny bit of cup, uh, paint left in my cups, so I just added that to the corners, um, the top left corner and the bottom right corner, just adding that tiny bit of paint. But here's how it was looking. I thought it was looking really cool. We're going to go in and give it a tilt. Um, with these, I usually like to tilt up to the top right corner and then down to the bottom left corner. And then I was going to go to the bottom right corner, but I decided last minute to go up to the top left corner because you can see all that gold right there. I knew if I tilted down to the bottom right corner, I was going to end up with a lot of gold and I wanted to tilt some of that off. So I brought it up to the top left corner. Now we're going to bring it all down to the bottom right corner. This technique is so easy to do. I hope you guys give acrylic pouring a try if you've never tried it before. Um, these paints are so easy to use. You just have to shake the bottle and they're ready to go. And I love this technique because it gives you some really awesome lines in your paintings. I really, really love lines um, when it comes to acrylic pouring. I'm just going to touch up the sides and make sure that every spot on the side has paint and then I'll bring you guys in for a close-up and you can see how it turned out. So here's how it's looking with the wet finish. Super pretty. I just love, love, love the way this piece turned out. Um, I really want to keep it, but I am going to be giving it a clear resin top coat and adding some glass glitter, and then I will uh, list it in my Etsy shop. I did a piece a while back, kind of similar to this one in black, white, and gold, and um, I have a video showing step-by-step -step how I made that one. If you haven't seen that, definitely check it out. I'll link it down below. It's one of my favorite acrylic pours that I've ever made. But let me know what you guys think of this one down in the comments. I am going to let this one dry for a few days and I will show you how it turned out all nice and dry hanging up on the wall. These paints dry with a really nice glossy sheen to them. 
um, when the paints dry they already the painting already looks like it has varnish on it but um, it doesn't but you do want to kind of varnish it or resin it to protect that paint here's how it looks all nice and dry I just hung it up um, really quickly to show you guys how it turned out it dried perfectly just basically looks the exact same way as it did when it was wet but let me know what you guys think of this one down in the comments and definitely go check out my friend Amber K designs video um, check her out and see what technique she did for her acrylic pour on our collaboration I hope you guys are all doing fabulous thank you so so much for watching my video don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're not already and go check out a few more of my other videos that would really help me out a lot helps out my channel if you watch a few of my videos back to back thanks again for watching I'll link these paints down below in the description box along with Amber's video definitely go check her out and don't forget to su subscribe to her channel thanks